person I'm channeling attached to you for this reading has a burning sensation in their heart. They are wanting to run to you. They are so assured. They are so self-assured that you are part of their highest timeline. You have deeply let this person go, but you knew that the flame was still there. Wow, this is a good energy. This has something to unpack. Wow. So this person's always had deep feelings for you, okay? Um, but there was a very much a tug of war between your energies for a while. Like wanting to be the one in control. You are not somebody that cares about having control, but you are almost owed it from the universe. You're a power force. And this person was used to, it's not that they weren't used to power forces. They were used to being like the energy maker of their relationships. Very much things, it's not that they surrounded, everything surrounded them in their relation in their other relationships but there was a sense of they make the rules or automatically gain a lot of control and decision making in relationships and you are a powerhouse that without any effort you become the one who makes decisions you are the one who continuously rises from the ashes and doesn't need anybody to do things for them i see this person saw you didn't need anything from them and they're used to having control over partners from that and again i don't mean that in a way of narcissistic like they're not a narcissist this person is deeply I guess the word is misunderstood. They see that you bring another level of value to their life. And they've unpacked a lot of dark. They've looked into that dark mirror of themselves. They see what you do for your community, for your loved ones, for your people. And the light you shine is so fucking bright. It is blinding to ones who have been in the dark. They thought that your they thought that your ability to control came from a sense of needing it. And now they see no, this is something and the reason that I felt disruption with them with this tug of wars because I'm used to just tugging and people chasing me. Not the person actually tugging back and saying, no, if you want me in your life, you got to give me a balance, give and take. They thought it was a power hungry feeling from you. They see everything differently now. They almost wondered if you had them under a spell, if you will, because of the intensity they felt for you. They're used to very much being the ones that were in control. Spirit wants you to know that the design of your life, you two meeting, it was planned before this 3D existence. They see you're this boss energy. You've continued to level up over and over again, every single day. Anytime they wondered if you, when are you going to fall? When is your facade going to be shown, etc.? You proved over and over again. You can't tear me down. My level of light, my level of, of authenticity, of realness cannot be matched. I'm in my own lane. The reason I've mastered this 3D existence is because I know my 
map inwards of myself. The reason people trust you is because for so long, you couldn't trust anybody around you. The reason you're an amazing, humble leader is because for so long, you were led by narcissistic, fake leaders. You saw the corruption surrounding you and said, I will not become that. Wow. So you've had to make them go inwards and completely reevaluate their own intuition, you see. They felt so conflicted because accepting you into their timeline meant having to relook every other relationship, friendship, etc. that they had embarked in. They didn't know the map with you. They couldn't go and do what they did with others with you and you are not a distraction. They thought you could have been a player energy. They thought they had to be loyal to something else I hear as well. They see you are not cunning, you are inspiring. What they want to say to you right now, there could have been some form of these are called the things that resonates. A father wound and or there could have been a child involved. Like they could have had a pregnancy with somebody else and they felt that they couldn't. It's an interesting energy because, I mean, these are collective things that resonates, but it feels like they, there could have been a surprise pregnancy or a false pregnancy is what I'm hearing. And... For a collective of you here, they deeply were like, I don't have the ability, the time to bring another person into my story. I don't have time to unpack what I feel for you because there's too much other stuff going on. For another section of you, this is a father wound. This is something of... Wow. When every time I start channeling like their father or anything like that, it feels like there is like a blockage that comes. To dive further into that part, it looks like their guides are telling me they have to be the one that tells. The authority, they can't be lied to. That is a humongous, dense energy I'm feeling. The reason for their disbelief of you for so long really stemmed down to some form of neglect, emotional, spiritual, mental abuse, etc. Somebody that had so much influence over them that they freed themselves from and never wanted to get trapped in that type of dynamic again. So they learned, that's why they learned how to control other people. But they had to go inwards and see, did I start controlling or being the leader or running the show, if you will, through vain, through vain efforts? After meeting you, It really put them inwards. This person's very protected, just as you. And their guides are letting me know there's a lot that they want to be the ones to present you the information. As we speak, understand that the childhood wounds are not gone. But there is a deep sense of healing. And they know there's something about your energy that can continue to help this healing process it's like ointment like your body naturally heals itself but then we have ointments and bandages and etc to help and it's like you are the aquifer if you will this person could have recently gotten a tattoo or has quite a bit of tattoos as well as a channel message that i am i'm seeing this person also watches you from afar, so they could, what I'm seeing them now is looking at you with like, 
a couple of tattoos or one tattoo and now throughout time you have expanded your art gallery if you will these are collective tastes that resonate. So if you don't have tattoos, this could even be like looking and seeing how you've developed the way you post yourself on social media. If you have a literal, I, and now I'm just seeing like somebody with a, like art all over their Instagram, or Facebook, etc. cetera. They, they've seen your skills, your self-expression develop. So they've been watching you. They didn't want you to know. But now there's something of, I got to repair this. I have to show this person. It's not even that they have to show you anything. They need to know for themselves that what they're feeling for you isn't crazy. You have let go of this connection. And I see the strength and the willpower this person has helped you develop in your own existence. You love this person. And you accept it though. I'm not trapping myself in paranoia. I'm not going to go and, and think I have to do things all this one way. I can't give up on them. I, 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 you were putting yourself in a mental prison before. With the way you had to be in relationships and the amount of effort you thought you continuously had to give versus balance, give and take. Losing them freed you. But what is yours? If it's meant for you, will find its way back with divine timing. It's all orchestrated. The only way this person, if they're meant for you, could find a way back to you is by separating and going in to your own time. Deciding, I love them, no matter if they're in my 3D existence or not. I can go forth. I can be with somebody else. I can be happy. There's more than one person in this world that could make me happy. It's true. There are certain connections that are deeper than others, but you can be happy with more than one person. They see this more than being repaired. It's upgraded. There's been a release. Spirit wants you to know to let... Let the old fear and timeline and restrictions stay in the past. The self-control, the skills you've learned, the ability to tap into your inner child. You've prepared so much from the separation with this person. I see your phone lighting up. I see this person saying, I don't want to be a stranger to you anymore. And there's something here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck it is about you. But I'm ready. We've both served our time in our shadow work and we've grown and we're deserving of each other. I'm deserving of the love you can give me. And you're deserving of the love I can give you. Let it flow. I see this person holding on to a spaceship. I see this person holding on to what they've repaired. They've, it's like they, their spaceship, it's like they were on a whole other planet from you, okay? And they had to repair their spaceship to be able to get to you and it, it and what i feel the spaceship is it's it's good it's solid but there may be some wiggly parts so there's still some things that weren't able to be fully screwed in if you will but it was enough more than enough to know okay this may be a little wobbly but i'm ready because there's some parts there's some screws etc that you have on your planet 
that will be able to keep and fit and mesh the stability of their ship, if you will. That's what I got for y'all today. Now it's time to dive into the spiritual Colorado adventure. Guys, all of the early bird spots have been taken. I have two early bird spots still available. Or I've been saying the early bird spot thing over and over again, so let me repeat that. Now it's going to be I have three spots, uh, two, two spots available overall. Oh my goodness. It's, I'm just so freaking excited thinking about this trip, how much there's going to be involved, the spiritual community, the physical activity. It is, I'm so excited. So long story short right now, I have two spots currently at the time of filming still available for this trip. If you are interested in joining, do not hesitate to send me an email at contact at offprintment.com. It's August 11th through August 16th in the spiritual Colorado Rocky Mountains. And you can get to the trip site linked on any of my social media platforms and all over my website, which is offprintment.com. Thank you for being here. I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.